Hey guys, uh, Venruki here. I just wanted to make a, a quick little video, um, kind of discussing something that I, I feel like, you know, has been on my mind lately um, with World of Warcraft. As you can see, I've become somewhat of uh, an altaholic in WoW. Um, I've obviously played my mage for a really, really long time, uh, as well as my monk, and those have kind of been my go-tos um, for World of Warcraft and specifically Shadowlands until 915. Uh, and in 915, uh, I ended up making uh, Nunruki, my Shadow Priest, so I boosted that up to 60. Um, I boosted my Rogue, Venfaki, up to level 60 as well. And uh, then I've actually boosted a Demon Hunter. Now, on all three of these characters, um, my item level, Conduits, Renown, um, is looking pretty good. And I kind of wanted to talk about, you know, some of the changes that they made in 915 to make it a little bit more accessible. Um, kind of my thought process for gearing um, in case you guys wanted to come back to the game or in case you guys were interested uh, in making alts and also just kind of my thoughts and feelings towards, you know, what could be better? How can we make the gearing system even better in World of Warcraft? So going to be kind of just like a, a talk through if that's something you guys are interested in. Um, definitely curious to hear what your thoughts are on everything I'm saying. And if you guys, you know, agree with anything I'm saying or disagree with anything I'm saying, uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment and I'd be really, really curious to read it. So basically, um, if you already have a main character um, that you play a lot of arena on, it's really, really easy to make an alt. So if you already have 80 renown on a character, you already have, um, you know, a lot of conquest banked up on a character, then it's super duper easy. Um, all you have to do is go and uh, with your conquest, you can buy these boxes. And uh, with these boxes, you can basically buy uh, arena gear. So I'll just kind of show you what it looks like. You buy a box and it gives you a random piece of season two gear um, that you can go and upgrade. So I bought, I think 60 boxes for my demon hunter. It costs a lot of conquest, but luckily, you know, I play arena a lot and I was able to basically get essentially full gear um, for this character. And at that point, all you really need to do in terms of your gear is upgrade with honor which does take a really long time um and it's probably one of my biggest issues with the gearing system right now is the base conquest gear isn't too great so it's 233 uh item level in pvp and obviously the max item level you can get is uh two uh i think it's 59 so 259 that's a huge difference uh 26 item levels quick math um and you're at a huge disadvantage unless you have all that gear upgraded so um, that's one thing that does take a little bit of time, but it is nice that you can get that base gear started. If you already have 80 Renown uh, on a different character, like I said, making an alt's easy, you can instantly increase your Renown of your alt to 40 with this item from the vendor. So already, you know, for your alts, you have 40 Renown. Uh, you have a decent set of gear that you can start PPing with, and then this one is big too. Um, this In Sense of Infinity, which unlocks basically all the conduits at item level 200 for you. So you got your conduits, you got a decent amount of renown, uh, you got your honor gear, and now what do you kind of do? So on this character, what I focused on doing as much as I can is kind of my daily... Um, daily pvp activities so i go i look at the weekly pvp quests i do the weekly pvp quests whether that's you know skirmishes rated arena rated battlegrounds regular battlegrounds epic battlegrounds whatever it is uh, normally good bang for your buck and then you can kind of go through uh, and you know do your daily random bg your daily epic bg your daily skirmish uh, your daily um, brawl if you can as well as uh, doing some of the rated content if you can do rated twos threes uh, or rbgs that's going to really significantly increase the amount of honor gains you can get so that kind of takes care of your honor not going to lie to you it's an incredible grind like i said i think all in all it takes about one hundred and fifty thousand honor to upgrade your gear which is roughly a thousand wins so it's, it's very very daunting but you know if you're just playing and you can kind of handle the fact that you're going to be losing because of gear uh you can get through it now the next thing you need to do obviously is increase your renown um and the best way to increase your renown um is going to be by doing the world bosses so when you're low renown the world bosses that's either in maldraxxus bastion revendreth or ardenwald gonna give you three renown and then of course in the maw uh, you can get another three renown from doing your corthia world boss uh, you can go and do these assaults. That's going to give you renown. Uh, depending on the covenant that you choose, you can do your callings. That's going to give you renown. You're going to need a legendary uh, as well. That's another thing on the checklist. So uh, to kind of kill two birds with one stone, you can go into your Torghast and try to work your way up to a layer nine and then just kind of spam layer nines. Now, layer nines are going to give you a good amount of... Um, 
soul cinders and soul cinders are what you're going to use to kind of make your uh, most powerful legendary and it's also give you to give you a decent amount of renown so if you can get into the torgas you know run through them i think it takes about eight or nine uh, i think nine uh, for you to get a max level legendary uh, then you can uh, make your max level legendary it does cost a bit of gold so you're gonna have to figure that one out as well how are you gonna get the gold for the legendary and then of course once you have <laughs> once you once you have your tour gas done and you've got your legendary once you've got your renown up uh once you've grinded out all your honor the next thing you're gonna have to do is upgrade your conduits and get some sockets now you could if you wanted to play with the 200 item level sockets but you're gonna be at a huge disadvantage um for most classes so demon hunter for example the conduits that you use are absolutely insane um all of them give you like a significant damage increase or a significant defensive increase so grinding those out is going to be really really important now the way you're going to do that is by going into the absolute lovely Corthia, the zone we all know and love just 100 download uh tomcat world tours uh, it's going to help you quite a bit and handy notes uh, shadowlands and that's how my map looks like this and basically you're going to run around to collect these chests uh, you're going to go hit the red stars that come up um, and you're going to be able to pick up the soul twining what are they called soul twining uh, conduit upgrade things um, crescents um, and that's going to be a good way to start to get your um, conduits up to item level 226 and then once they're up to item level 226 and you get your reputation high enough uh, with the Archivist Codex once it's tier four, then you can start doing rift running. Um, and, and that's basically, you're gonna get join a group, um, do rifts and um, just kill these big elite monsters. You guys can look it up if you want. It's just gonna be called um, rift farming for conduits and sockets. And yeah, once you've done that, you know, once you've done your 10 tour gas, once you've got all the honor gear and you've played your thousand arena games to upgrade it, um, once you have upgraded your conduits and once you've upgraded, uh, you know, your sockets, uh, then you're going to be, uh, you know, good to go and you have your renown ready to go. Then you're going to be on a really even footing. And uh, if you've made it to this point in the video and you're like, Ven, what the hell, man? This does not sound good. This is fucking crazy. Like, what are you talking about? You're right. It is crazy. It's it's a lot of work. It's a lot better in 915, which is why I was willing to do it. But in order to get min-maxed, it's still, it's really, really difficult. Um, it can be done. And, you know, I get the question, what's easier to gear in? Is it the Burning Crusade? Is it Shadowlands? The truth is, it's actually easier to set up a character in Shadowlands than the Burning Crusade. Um, like, the amount of time you put in. Um, it is much easier in Shadowlands to gear out a character. Now, it can feel really, really tedious because the gear you get will eventually be obsolete when the new patch comes out, whereas all the investment you put in your character in the Burning Crusade uh, feels like it pays off in the long run. And, you know, if you have full Season 1 gear on a mage, that's going to be, you know, still something you can play with in Season 3, which is not true for Shadowlands. So, with all that being said, um, that's kind of what I went through to get my alts up. And uh, to be completely honest with you, I've been having a great time playing alts. Um, you know, I get frustrated when I lose because of gear, or at least I feel like I'm losing because of gear. It's not a great feeling. Um, it's not the best feeling to have to go and grind rifts to upgrade my conduits and get sockets and stuff like that. That's why I haven't done it on most of my characters, but I do plan on doing it on my Demon Hunter. Um, but yeah, just kind of the repetitive, the repetitive process of um, getting your conduits, getting your sockets, getting your legendaries, having to do your Torghast, getting your Renown up on all your alts is, is really, really annoying. But if you kind of just sit down and do it and grind it out, uh, it's not too bad. Now, if you're someone who's just returning to the game and you are looking to gear up, uh, the process is going to be a little bit different for you. I think one of your highest priorities is likely going to be uh, getting your Renown up. So get your Renown up any way you can. Like I said, do the world bosses every week. Um, do tour guests. Uh, you can get them from Arena, but it's not great. Um, make sure you do all the quests from your Covenant Hall that give you renown. Um, make sure you do you know, your Corthia weekly. Um, you do these uh, assaults. Getting renown 80 is going to be the best thing you can do, so you can eventually get your conduits. Uh, all the ones at 200, that's going to be the quickest thing you can do. 
And then uh, what I would recommend is spend a lot of time in Corthia. Uh, it's going to be another one of those zones where you're able to get some catch-up gear um, from running around and doing the various activities in there and catching it up. And then eventually you're obviously going to want to go earn some honor, earn some conquest, and uh, try to pick up some PvP gear. So it's a lot. It's a lot. And there's a lot of things that I feel like they could do to really help this process. And that's kind of like what I want to talk about in part two of this video is how they could make this um, significantly better. You know, they, they've already, you know, helped some of the pain points with the 200 item level conduits. Personally, I wish it was even higher than that. And in fact, in PvP, I wish conduits just scaled up, um, kind of like the Legion style. I feel like if you have your conduits, they should just be maximum potency in PvP. And that would just make it so, you know, players wouldn't have to go and grind conduits from all of these different sources outside of PvP, and it would put people on a little bit more of an even playing field. Same thing goes for sockets. I actually kind of wish PvP gear just came with sockets. In fact, I wish all gear came with sockets. I know this is very wishful thinking, but how nice would it be if every neck you had, every ring you had, every bracer you had, every belt you had, they all just came with sockets and you didn't have to worry about it. Um, you just put the sockets you wanted in and uh, you could customize your character the way you wanted and things would be good to go. If that seems like a crazy idea to you, uh, just remember that's kind of how it was in the past on old gear. Gear just came socketed and it wasn't some crazy rep grind you had to do. Um, so that would be another thing that would help significantly. Um, and then another thing I think which would be huge in terms of reducing the amount of honor that you have to grind out it would be absolutely lovely. In fact, I'm going to run down here quickly while I'm talking. It would be absolutely lovely um, if the honor gear that existed was really, really good starting gear. So it would be absolutely fantastic if I could go up to the honor vendor. You know, I could grind my BGs, go to the honor vendor, and I could pick up a piece of honor gear and not have to upgrade it eight times. Because let me tell you, man, the feeling of upgrading gear um, from PvP, it, it really isn't great. So if I go to the honor vendor and I pick up this piece of gear, it starts out at 177, which is essentially trash. Let's be real. It's trash outside of PvP. But in PvP, it's 213, which is still kind of bad. It, in fact, it's really, really bad. I mean, you're going to be playing against opponents that are 259, and uh, you're going to be running around in 213. That's a 46 item level difference, which is absolutely insane. Like the best players in the world like blues con champions no doubt in my mind if cdu mez and trill played in this gear they would struggle to break 1600 1700 and i'm not joking so that's what a huge difference it is um i think as a barrier to entry it, it's massive if, if you could just earn the honor and go pick up a weapon and it was like 233 for example i don't even care if it sucks outside like the honor gear in my mind at this point should be like 210 item level outside of PvP and should be 233 in PvP. That's your starting gear, okay? You get your honor gear, you can play. And then once you get your conquest gear, what I would really like to see is, because a big pain point right now, uh, I'm just gonna continue to rant about this. A big pain point right now is when you upgrade your ranks, so as, as you rank up in arena, um, you unlock basically new levels uh, of upgrades to your gear. So. Uh, I'll show you an example. Like, I'll put my helmet in here. Uh, it's already... Let's put something that is uh, only level 1. All right, so this level 1... These level 1 boots, like... It starts out at 220 item level. Um, and it's 233 in PvP. And then I upgrade it once. It increases it, you know, to 242. I upgrade it again. Uh, keeps it, I guess, at 242. Upgrade it again. Now it's 246. Now it's 252. Now it's 259. So you have to go through this process of upgrading it. It doesn't feel that great because basically, if you hit a new milestone, like let's say uh, you've been struggling, oh, what's the highest? The highest is 2100 right now. Let's say you know you have all your gear at seven out of nine, and uh, you finally make it to 2100. It doesn't really feel like a you know a huge accomplishment because. You, you know, you can run over to the, the, the upgrader and upgrade like a couple pieces of gear. I think something that would make the system overall a lot better, uh, to kind of get to the point, sorry, uh, is if you actually hit a new rating threshold, when you could just buy the gear pre-upgraded. So if I was 2100 and uh, I went to the vendor to buy a piece of gear, it would just come 
upgraded already and that would be for all ranks you know if you're a rival you could just buy the rival gear um and especially at a later point in the season like now i'm basically just sitting on conquest so a big a big predicament uh with the current gearing system is my demon hunter started with full gear because i sent it 70 boxes right i didn't really have to buy anything so every bit of conquest that i earn essentially doesn't help me at all um and the only kind of currency that matters is honor, uh, which is super duper unfortunate. Um, and I think letting the gear, you know, come pre-upgraded if you're at the certain rating um, wouldn't really, it, it wouldn't feel bad at any point in the season. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it would, um, it would make it so PVPers have a huge advantage early on in the season because you are limited on your conquest, right? It just kind of slow down that honor grind. Next thing I'd really like to see is uh, there be no honor cap as well as uh, allow you to send honor to your alts so that would be another thing that would be absolutely fantastic if i have fifteen thousand honor just sitting there on my mage i don't even care if i take a loss like a 30 percent loss if i could send ten thousand of that honor to my alts upgrade my gear um that would feel really really good so yeah just make conduits more accessible um make conduits more accessible make sockets more accessible. Honestly, getting your legendary is not really that big a deal. Torghast kind of isn't my favorite, but realistically it takes an hour, an hour and a half um, to get a, maybe a little bit longer depending on your skill level and your gear. But it's not too bad uh, for getting, uh, getting your legendary. The only thing I'd like to see for it is the cost go down a little bit. Um, feels like if you don't, you know, you don't know how to hustle gold or you know you aren't buying wow tokens you know fording more than one legendary can be difficult for a lot of players so yeah i'd like it if the conduits were a bit easier way easier i'd like it if sockets were significantly easier and then the upgrade system would be a little bit better and uh, i think shadowlands could kind of be the expansion in terms of gearing that we would all absolutely love because it kind of makes me sad and i, I know this video is kind of a mix of emotions. It's me being excited about playing all these alts, but it's also me, you know, kind of internalizing my own struggles. And I know the struggles that you were even greater for you because I quite often have people, you know, if I want to make an RBG group and I'm on stream, I can do that. If I want to play some twos, there's probably someone on my stream that wants to play with me. If I want to play some threes, there's probably someone on my stream that wants to play with me. So it's, it's easier for me than it is for you. I know that. Um, and it's still a pain in the butt for me. So, you know, I'll keep making these videos. I'll keep trying to fight the good fight and, you know, post on Twitter and post on the forums and talk about it on YouTube and give the feedback that I can because I feel like if they made the gearing just a little bit easier, so many people would be willing to come back, um, hop into the game uh, and play because a lot of these classes are super fun. I myself really enjoying Necrolord Demon Hunter right now. I enjoyed my Assassination Rogue. I enjoyed my Shadow Priest, but it took me a lot of games like let's let's just log on my priest so my priest is my highest geared alt really really fast my priest is my highest geared alt and i am right now let's see i am right now uh 256 item level which is basically max and it took me 265 games of twos and 432 games of threes nine games of rbgs and then of course a bunch of skirmishes that i played um so you know we're talking 700 games of arena quick math um as well as uh you know as well as the rbgs and bunch of skirmishes that i played during the bonus honor skirmish so it's quite a grind. You know, I still don't have the sockets on my gear, although I wish I did. I still don't have my conduits fully upgraded, which is, you know, a big detriment to my overall damage. Um, but yeah, I still really, really enjoy playing the game. It would just be nice if it was kind of easier to catch up to, you know, that absolute top level. So you wouldn't ever have to feel like you're losing because of gear or someone's outperforming you because, you know, they're on their main and uh, they just put in the really, really long grind for their gear. So that's what I'd like to see. Anyways, this is kind of a, a long rant. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. If you're still here, if you like the video, like the video. And uh, yeah, let me know uh, your, cots, your comments, your cots, your comments and thoughts 
uh, on gearing in Shadowlands. And uh, if you agree with anything I'm saying or disagree with anything I'm saying. And uh, uh, yeah, anytime you guys want to check out my stream, I'll be live on twitch.tv slash Um And come say hi. Talk to me. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Have a great day. <laughs>